Hello, hello, hello. This is League 12 Match 3. We are already underway. Uh, this is a slow hand that doesn't really benefit from Mox Opal until turn... I suppose it does turn 1. So it lets us play and equip plating turn 2. Um, and with that in mind, I'll keep. Alternatively, it could play etch champion turn 2, which seems like that's probably going to be the better choice. Mox Opal, huh? Now, I could uh, Lotus Petal the Opal in order to drop this plating right away. But I don't think that makes things any better. So we're going to leave that up instead. And against what I can only assume is 8 Whack, as champion will be decent. Turn 2. And we can potentially have Vault Scourge start swinging in the air for the life links. Guide is fine. They're going to hit for four. Which is getting to be a faster clock. Maybe it does make a little more sense to try to outrace them with the life link next turn. I'd hit for one. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, six with Ornithopter. Puts me back up to 22. So the I guess the question is, do I want the sweet, sweet blocks or do I want the aggression? I think I'm better off. Pardon me one second. girlfriend's cats messing with the bed um i think i want the blocks delay the beats a little bit in favor of having a blocker that can just do whatever plus we can we can plating and equip next turn and that's yes it's a turn slower but having the having the blocks is good Loyalist is fine. Two of them. Well, I guess we block Denizen because he represents the largest potential. We can also block Freebie Block. They get Trample. And what? First strike. They can't be blocked by creature tokens, which doesn't really matter. Things are still looking good. Um, yeah, to get the extra damage, I'm going to go for the Dark Steel Citadel. Play and equip onto Vault Scourge. And get in for some lifelinks. Pardon me for a moment, just going to say hello.
And we're back. Uh, so opponent is sitting on the guides and loyalists. Pardon the sniffles. The weather's gotten a little turn for the cold today. Um, but with Etch Champion and Ornithopter, yeah, we're we're well ahead of that. Uh, so we want Whip Flares to get their dudes. We want a champion. Um, Memnite is questionable because it can block their ground guys. And it helps us accelerate a bit if we have drum. Um, but we're not going to be able to attack with it very well. So I think I'm actually going to take it out. Uh, and then I'm going to take out... Uh, I'm thinking either Ravager or Overseer. I think it's going to be one Ravager. Try it like that. Definitely want to sideboard light in this matchup in an effort to just be as fast as possible. Um, this is not super fast, but it can get down champion. So I'm going to keep it. All right, turn one guide isn't the best, but it isn't the worst. Reveal signal pest. So then the question will be whether or not we want to play signal pest and take more damage from guide, or if I just right away galvanic blast the guide. Uh, since I can't block it very well, I'm pretty tempted to just blast it now. Though I suppose. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that to slow down their aggression a little bit. Sure, that slows down laying, getting signal pests down, but uh, I like delaying them until we can get this champion. Ornithopter's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Um, so I'm playing champion next turn, which means I'm either playing pest now, I'm either playing pest or cranial this turn. The most mana efficient is playing plating. It doesn't do much in the way of attacking, but I think, I think this is fine. Now, if we were to, say, get Mox Opal next turn, that would be beneficial. Really should remember to fix that at some point. So we're going to have two 1-1s. One potentially kicked Bushwhacker. Would get in for a little bit. Okay, smash on plating. It's a little bit worse for us. Uh, but that means they're not playing something a little more aggressive. It slows us down, but we have champ, which will do great. The ornithopters can block these 1-1s one for now if they come in unbuffed. Opal would be pretty good because then we could champ and pest. Um... Citadel's not bad because it helps protect a champion even if they have they would need two well three removal to get in with that and uh, we're not getting in for anything right now but having champion is good and then we can eventually get passed down and start attacking there attacks yeah so that's gonna get buffed but without trample uh, that doesn't do much against champion yeah 
Yeah, kick the bushwhackers pretty good. Uh, that means we're making the easy block with pile driver, uh, taking six, but that'll put us to eight. But we can't not block pile driver. It, it, it doesn't make any sense, and we definitely want to keep up the ornithopters to keep champion alive. So we're taking six. Without plating, we don't have a good swing back. Plating would have been really nice. Uh, we can swing with the Nexus, I suppose. It might have behooved us to... Oh, I should have tapped a little differently, I think to have an extra blocker, but they only have one card in hand, and uh, even if stuff gets dicey, I can block with an Ornithopter. Just want to be careful about um, the Sakadoc Goblin deal five damage spell, the, whose name eludes me. Cannon or something? I don't remember. Grenade. Goblin grenade. There we go. So if they have another bushwhacker, uh, then we have to block with more than just a couple things. Okay, good. Ooh, plating. We can play plating, activate and swing, and leave back blockers, I think. Still tapping wrong. Oh no, it was it was gonna be tapped out either way. So eight, nine, so I attack with pest and nexus. So unless they have a bolt or a grenade, they are dead. Excellent. So that was uh, an easy match three. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time in match four.